Hey everyone, my name is Elvin and welcome to Buddhist Space again and this time I will use this video to show you how can I create a photo album and add photos for the disease memorial and what I need to do first is of course to log in with my username and password and the sample memorial I'm going to use is Chief Reverence Memorial and you can simply go to edit page and edit page is the back end of the disease profile and it can only be seen it can only be seen by the person who is the creator of this memorial and of course for photo you go to photo gallery and let's say if I want to create a new photo album what I do is I give it a name and let's see what I have here okay this is there's two ways to add photos to your memorial and the first way is to grab it online it can be from the diseased website like it's in here www.ksiridamananda.com if not I can go to google image which is google.com image yes yep see the funeral event is very meaningful and it's worthwhile for us to upload this photo in the disease memorial so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on let's say this photo I can either choose save image as or save picture as so I have saved images and I will save it in my computer folder so this is lying in state 2 as 1 is already in my computer I will put this lying in state 2 so it's easy for me to keep a record alternatively alright saving now alternatively I can go to Google image and type in Siridama Nanda alright let's see what do I get because he is a popular figure and I'm not surprised that Google actually index lots of his photos from different websites let's say I like this photo I can just click on it alright I can do the same thing right click there you go save image as mm. I can type in the file name chief memorial in Nalanda Buddhist Society Oops. alright it's best to save it in JPEG image so that the file it's small enough for you to save it at the shortest time possible alright detail as you can see here just now I've saved two different photos I'll create a new album let's say uh, funeral day alright album has been successfully created so what I'm gonna do is I will browse for the photo I have downloaded from the website just now 
So line in state one is directly from my computer. So this you can straight away go to this step if you already have a photo in your computer. So I will double click and I'll put a title uh, line before that. I'll put the source courtesy of K Siridamananda website. I can put line in state I can put funeral setup in Bricksfield Temple then when I'm done with it I'm happy with it I can press save this is what you get from the photos you have uploaded and let's say if I want to delete the photos, what should I do? It's the same thing, I can simply go to photo gallery. Let's say I want to delete this photo. As you can see here, this is this X button in red is the delete button. So I can press this and it will ask you do you really want to delete this photo I say ok so if you are not sure whether you want to publish the photo to the public you can choose to click on this green button this green button is also known as publish when you click on it it will unpublish the photo then photo unpublished successfully so if you still have any problem uploading photos to your memoria you can email me at support at buddhispace.com it's spelled as s-u-p-p-o-r-t at b u d d h i s t s p a c e dot com support at buddhispace dot com and i hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching